Hello guys, welcome to another news. Still on the on is the Indigo President General as he assumes office. Follow me as I take you to the news in full details. The news in full. The new president of one is the Indigo Chief Emmanuel Uwanyao has promised to serve the Igbos diligently and defend their causes. Chief Uwanyao made the promise at his inauguration as the new president general of the Apex Igbo body. The inauguration was held at the old government's lodge in Enugu State on Sunday during the MLB meeting, the inner caucus of the group. Iwanyangu said he never nurtured the ambition to be the president general of one is the Indigo worldwide. Instead, he wanted to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He said he contested for the presidency on three different occasions, but he did not succeed. He said, I took my losses in good composure and knowing fully well that as a Christian, all powers and promotion come from God. But today, destiny has placed squarely on my shoulders the duty of leading the Igbos as the President General of Oanese in the worldwide. I therefore have a duty to valiantly defend Igbo causes, and I promise Imes, Imes Obi, Ime Obi and all Igbo people that, by the grace of God, I will not fail them. The President General used the occasion to appeal to President Mamadou Buhari to release the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Maazi Onyendunamdekanu, from the detention of the Department of State Services, DSS. Iwayanwu said the security situation in the southeast was very disturbing, adding that there was a very urgent need for a peace summit in Igbo land. He added that I would therefore make a special appeal to Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari GCFR to release Mazi in Amdekanu before the expiration of his tenure in May 29. Kanu is very crucial for any key discussion and it is not possible to negotiate for any peace while Uindu in Amdekanu is in prison. It is also important to note that the judiciary has discharged and free Mazi Uindu in Amdekanu. It will be a thing of joy for many people, many ego people and Nigerians to see Mazi Oyundu in Amdekanu released from detention. Iwayangu added that there was a report that his health was deteriorating, adding that I feel it is very important that he is released to have access to his medical doctor so that he does not die in the prison. The inauguration was attended by Governor Ifani Uguawu of, of Enugu State, Governor Charles Soludo of Anambra State, and other prominent Igbo leaders like Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, Enugu State Governor elect Peter Mba, and the former Imo State Governor Chidi Chief Ikedi Ozaki. Other were members of the National Assembly, ministers Chief Ado Philos Wabra and former president of Ohanese Indigo, Chief Inaya Nwudu, among others. The governors of Eboin State, who is also the chairman, Southeast Governor Forum, David Umweze Umayi, Imo State Governor Ohu Zodima, and Abia State Governor Okezi Ikpiazu, who were absent at the meeting, were represented by their deputies. As Emmanuel Wanyawu assumes the office of, or the office of the President General of Hanese Indigo Worldwide, has said he will make sure that President Muhammad Bari releases the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maazi Oyindu Khan, before the expiration of his tenure in May 29. He made the promise at the inauguration at his inauguration as the pres new president of the Apex Igbo body, which was held at the old government lodge in Enugu State on Sunday during the Emilbi meeting of the inner concourse of the group. He also said he never nurtured the ambition to be president general of the Ioannese Indigo worldwide. Instead, he had the ambition of becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He said he also made it known that he contested for the presidency on three occasions and he did not succeed in any of them. He took his losses in good composure, knowing fully, that, knowing fully well that as a Christian, all powers and promotion comes from God. 
He said, Destiny has placed squarely on his shoulder the duty of leading the Igbos as the President General of the Oanese Indigo Worldwide. He said he has a duty to valiantly defend the Igbo cause and he promised he may be and all the Igbo people that, to, by the grace of God, he will not fail them. And he also said he will use the office of the President General to beg and appeal to President Muhammad Obrari to release the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uindu in Amdekano, from the detention of the Department of State Services, DSS. The new President General of the Oanese Indigo said the security situation in the southeast was very disturbing, adding that there was a, it was a matter of urgency and the need of peace summit in Igbo land. He said he would therefore make a special appeal to Mr. President General Muhammad Buhari GCFR to release Mars in the Namdekano before the expiration of his tenure in May 29. He made it known that Mazi Namdekanu is very crucial for any key discussion and it is not possible to negotiate peace while he is still in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS. He also made it known that it will be a thing of joy for many Igbo people and other Nigerians to see Mazi Namdekanu released from detention. He added that there was a report that his heart was deteriorating and he feels it is important that he is released very soon so that he can have access to his medical doctors so that he will not die in prison. The inauguration was attended by Gov Governor Ifanyi Uguanyi of Enugu State, Governor Charles Soludo of Anambra State and other prominent Igbo leaders like Le Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Enugu State Governor elect Peter Umba and former Imo State Governor Chief Ike Diozaki. Other members of the National Assembly, Minister Chief and Ministers Chief Adolfilos Wabara and former President of Oaneze Indigo Chief India Umwodo was present among others. The Governor of Ebony State, who is, who is also the Chairman of South East Governor Forum, David Umweze Umayi, the Imo State Governor Opus Odema and Abia State Governor Okezie Ikuyazu, who were absent at the meeting, were represented by their deputies. The newly elected President General of Anizi Indigo also said that it is important to note that the judiciary has already discharged Mazi Onyindu Namdekano from the detention of the Department of State Services, DSS, and they cannot have a peace summit without the release of Mazi Onyindu Namdekano. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And also don't forget to let us know your opinions via the comment section below. Thank you and God bless you. I will see you in the next news.